Hello guys, um, this is a tutorial for the Xbox 360 Xbox Live error code 801519E. This is a fix on how to correct this error, and um, it is a an, it is an error an internet error, and you are going to have to port forward some ports. So, what you want to do is know your IP address. And depending on uh, the modem or router you're using, uh, you you would have to uh, the steps might be a little different. So here we go. I'm just gonna go into it. We're gonna the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your start button. You want to click on it in the search bar. Type CMD. If you're on Windows XP, click the run box on the right. And I'm just gonna type in run so it makes it easier for everyone. So in the run box. You want to type in CMD. Click OK, and now uh, the command box will open up. What you want to do is type in IP config with no spaces. Once you type IP config, you want to hit Enter. Go all the way to the top, and I have this blocked because it's my IP address and in my information and stuff. I just want to be safe. Um, what what you want to look for is your IPv4 address, and uh, you want to type this whatever that is in your internet browser. It can be Internet Explorer, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, and etc. So go ahead and open your internet browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You want to type in the IP address. I blocked it. And once I you're in, <coughs> I'm, I have Hawaiian Telecom, and I'm using the Pace PLC 411N030 modem. So, um, uh, if you don't know what your uh, modem is or your router, um, you have to either look it up on this site that in your IP address, or call your provider. Um, if you if it popped up with a ad, uh, username and password. If you didn't set this, it's usually blank or you have to type in admin for the username and the password. If it didn't work at all for you, uh, try your default gateway. For me, I use the default gateway. I used to use the IPv4 address, but it doesn't work for this modem. So if your IPv4 address doesn't work, use the default gateway numbers into your browser. And that should work. So once you're on your main site, I uh, like I said, I have Hawaiian Telecom, and I use the Pace PLC. And um, if you still need help with this and you can't get to the site, there's a website in the description called PortForward.com. I will, oops, I will go to it right now. Um, so as you see, uh, we're here now. Okay, so when you're on the portforward.com, where it says the number one resource for port forwarding ports underneath Xbox One port and PS4, go to free guides. Once you're here, you want to go to your, um, whatever your modem or router is called. Like I said, I have the Pace PLC. You should know what yours is, but um, if you still don't know, it should be on your uh, your box, on your modem box or router box, and um. It should be labeled on there. So uh, I'm going to go to the P, and here it is, Paste PLC. And if this pops up, you want to click Close. And I know I have the 411N030, so I would click that. So once you're here, you want to go down to the X, and you want to find Xbox Live 360. Here it is. It's right above Xbox One. Xbox Live 360. Go ahead and click that. And these are all the information on uh, all the ports and everything. So go ahead and follow this. Um, if you, if once you have uh, done all this and it still didn't work, you might have to add a little bit of a little bit more ports. So I will have all the ports and the information in the description. So um, I'm just going to show you guys on. See, it tells you exactly where to go on your certain modem and router. It's exactly where to go. It tells you what to click on, where to go, and yeah. 
So uh, for mine, I would have to go to settings, firewall. And here it shows where what um all of my uh all of my uh, ports I port forwarded. They're all for the Xbox and I if it says you can put a static IP, uh you want to make sure you know where your uh, Xbox IP address is. If you don't know, just go ahead and do the network settings and go to configure network on your Xbox 360 and it should say IP address. You want to type in the Xbox 360 IP address and you want to port forward all these ports to that IP address. If it doesn't have that and all your port forwards are all in the same thing, like all just on your internet, just keep it. It's all right. So um, you just want to name them whatever you want, and you want to put the TCP or for the for port 53, you want to put TCP. And here, if you, I'm just going to show you how this works. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same because we all don't have the same modem and router. That's why the port forwarding site comes in hand. I, uh, this is in the description. So go ahead and look at this. Look up um, your router and all that. And it should tell you how to do it. So this is what I would have to do. Um, at first, I didn't realize I could enter my IP address from my Xbox. So uh, what I did at first was I clicked add a new user defined application because uh, that's what it told me to do. And you can call this whatever you want. I call it X, li X Live and then 1. And then I kept going at each port I would uh, create. So, or each port I would forward. The first one it says, um, where is it? For the first one's 53 and it's TCP. So, where you put this is TCP. And where it says port or range, you want to put the from 53, the 253 and the map to host port 53 and then you just add that port um, it should be similar for all of us no matter what router or modem we have so the 53 port is TCP you want to put it to the from and the to and the map to host port you want to add it and then after that the next one is um, the next one you want to add is 80 and you can call it whatever you like. Keep them similar so you can kind of know what they are. And it's a TCP as well. Uh, so TCP 80, you want to put the 80 into the, to the from and 80 into and 80 to map to host. The next one, and you want to add that. You want to create another one. And the it's a TCP and the port is 1863. You want to do the same exact setup. You want to put 863 in t from and to and map to host. Keep repeating. Uh, all of the ports are in the description and what the protocol is. So I hope you kind of, um, if you don't know how to port forward, I hope this kind of helped you. I also made an older video on how to port forward. You can watch that as well if you would like. Um, make sure you go to the port forwarding website and go to your modem and router name and follow the steps and it's very easy uh, just go along this and if it doesn't work you might have to add the 6654 port and the 3074 port as well as the 863 port so these are all the ports and uh, protocols that you need to add they're all in the description like I said and I hope uh, you fix this if you have any problems please please contact me my email is in the description you can also do a private message. I think I would rather have you guys message me on YouTube because it's all connected, you know, with Gmail and all that. So, yeah, just if you have problems, just Gmail, uh, send me a YouTube message or comment uh, in the comment section. Okay, guys, peace out.